What up, Small Rapper Gang? I feel like this is a great video that a lot of people feel like they probably want to ask and they want to know the answer to, and that is, somebody actually reached out and they asked me, Rob, do you feel like sometimes you have to go out there and live life in order to have things to rap about? Because maybe you're getting stuck, you're like, what am I gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about that today, all right? I'm Rob Level, this is Smart Rapper. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, I got 300,000 followers on there. Please hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell when you do, because it's gonna notify you every time I release a new video, and I release a new video every day. We're going by like 15,000 subscribers a month right now, and I appreciate all you, like, I am, I'm just, I feel so, I'm so grateful, thank you so much for your help in, in helping this all grow because we're changing the world together. We really are. You're changing your mind. You're growing. You're getting the right mindset. You're inspiring yourself, motivating yourself, and, and therefore you're inspiring and helping people around you, whether you believe it or not or whether you know it or not, okay? Like, you don't even know the effects that you have on people until, like, they actually let you know. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot going on, all right, just when you're changing yourself. So let's keep doing that. All right, we're going to get into this. You're about to be a smarter rapper right after the intro. I do this full time, bitch. I do this full time. Every day, day, stay up on my grind, bitch. All day, day, stay up on my grind, grind. I do this full time, bitch. First off, let's talk about like, let's say you're like 14 years old, okay? Like if you're 14, like you could have had crazy experiences by the time you were 14. So like, no, I know if there's a 14 year old out there, he's like, bro, I've been through a bunch of shit, man. But to be honest with you, bro, you have no idea how much more shit you're gonna go through when you become an adult, um, when you have to start getting these jobs, you can start making life decisions and you gotta deal with women or the opposite sex, whoever, you know what I'm saying? If you're a girl or guy, whoever, you know. It, all of these things you're gonna go through, the heartbreak, the emotions, the feelings, of being broke or uh, being too poor or feeling stuck or uh, you know things that you can't control life situations health issues like so many different things can happen and life comes at you really fast you know what I'm saying so if you're young right now I want to let you know that you are going to experience a lot more and I'm not saying I'm just saying those are some of the negative things you're going to experience a lot of joy and happiness as well you know what I'm saying but when we generally tend to write music we tend to use it as an outlet to express pain and you know, uh, things and struggles that we go through because other people go through those things too. And when we rap and make music about those things, I feel like, well, I know other people, they feel that when they hear it, they go, man, I've been through that too. And they relate to that and that helps them, especially if you're somebody who became successful, but felt that pain, they could look at you and go, yo, this person has been through this stuff. And if they made it through and they got there, I can too, okay? and. You know, and I know you know what I'm talking about. You, you have those artists that you've listened to and you really resonate with them. You go, holy shit. And, um, you know, I've been through a lot, you know, lost my, you know, my mom gave me up for adoption. My dad died when I was seven. I had to learn sign language to talk to him because he had brain tumors. He was deaf and he was in a wheelchair when he died. I was adopted. I was then the person who adopted me, put me into behavior homes and behavior schools and hospitals. And I got out and then I went back to my mom and then my mom gave me up again. <laughs> You know, this was all before 10 years old. And I lived in homeless shelters after high school. I was in behavior schools with all the, the gang kids in Southside Chicago. Like, this is like, I had a really shitty childhood. And I've been through a lot. I've been depressed, been suicidal. And I made a lot of music about that. And those are some of the songs that resonate with my fans a lot. You know, then they're like, yo, these are my favorite songs. And um, just to name them, if you're like, what songs, Rob? What, what songs are you talking about? Um, Friends and Enemies is one. It's about, you know, it's that's a really good one. It's a big one uh, that people really loved. Uh, and it's also the first music video that I shot and edited myself that I I worked a day job for like six months to save up for the camera in order to shoot that. And I taught myself lighting and stuff. It's not amazing video visual, but that was my first one. Um, then we have Sometimes I Get So Low, which I, I love that one. Uh, that's a really good one. And also, what you should really check out off my first mixtape is uh, when my cousin got out of prison. He said that was like one of his favorite songs because it's, it's a really emotionally deep it's a good song. It's a really good song. Check it out. So I'll put links below for y'all. But real quick, let's talk about this. So you don't have to go through a lot of emotional problems in order to write songs about emotional problems. Somebody like, for instance, somebody like J. Cole writes from other people's perspective. Okay, he didn't go through those problems, but he talks about it from that person's perspective because that's another way to approach songwriting, okay? And let's think about this as well too. If you go through a lot, right? Like though I've been through a lot, you can only take and you can only write about that those experiences so many times before your audience is gonna be like, we know, bro, we know. Don't you know like you you don't want to flood them with too much of that. You know what I'm saying? So you have to find other ways to write. You don't have to write about experiences. A lot of people, a lot of rappers tend to rap about just guns, drugs, sex, and shit because A, that's what they see, B, that's actually what they have experienced, and C, they 
haven't really experienced much other stuff that they know how to emotionally or put into lyrics or into song form. You see what I'm saying? Because it's all if that's all you experience, that's all you can rap about. If you never had hardships, what are you gonna rap about? Type shit, you know what I'm saying? So they stick to those things. So really I'm making this video to let everybody know that if you're somebody who hasn't had a lot of problems or a lot of things in their life that was was an experience that's even like value valuable to write about that's okay okay because you're gonna have those experiences eventually what you can do right now to better yourself as an artist is to write those write about things that you have experienced now okay see how they come out on paper see how they come out when you record them see if they sound like something you know what i'm saying because whatever you've experienced other people have experienced them good or bad record them write them get good at writing Learn how to tell your story, get good at storytelling. So when you experience those moments, you can better convey them and have it and really get that message and that feeling across to the listener, okay? So practice, practice your rhyme patterns, practice your rhymes, practice finding your voice, practice your flow, practice making songs, okay? When you have these skills down, then any song you make is gonna sound good. And then when you already have those that basic foundation, when you do have a really good story to tell, you can tell it in the right way. If you have a story but you don't have the skills, you can tell the story and I don't wanna listen to your rap because you're so off beat, you're off flow, I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. If it's not enjoyable to listen to, I'm not gonna listen. Therefore, I'm not gonna hear your message. So you still need the foundation here. Live your life. You can go out and experience things, but don't like force yourself to go out and experience things. You don't, things are gonna happen to you either way. Don't put yourself in those experiences or those predicaments or those situations just so that you can rap about them. That is not the way to go about that, all right? You're going to experience every emotion you can as a human unless you're a serial killer and you got some mental issues, okay? You're going to experience those moments. Wow. Don't look for them, they're going to happen. Just go with the flow, learn to write. And again, like I said, do what J. Cole does. He writes from somebody else's perspective. Okay, you can make a story up like Harry Potter is not real. It's worth billion dollars Okay, Star Star Wars isn't real It's a compilation of a bunch of other stories that George Lucas couldn't get the rights to so he made his own like it's you you can make up stories too and have them be entertaining like there's a lot of Nas songs that aren't real situations but they're entertaining stories that he told this goes a lot of artists okay Eminem like a lot of his stuff is fabricated and made up out of thin air because it's entertaining Okay, he's not, you know what I'm saying? Like it's audibly stimulating because you can, when you hear it, you can see the situation. That's how you know you're a good storyteller because if they can actually see and envision what you're saying, then it's actually good. Okay, so you don't have to experience life. You can make up things, not lie, but you can make up and write things that are entertaining. It is the entertainment industry. Okay, so don't worry about that, buddy. You can make songs about anything you want. And then in addition to that, you can make songs about your life as they come about. Okay, you can do that. There's no, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, you just became a smarter rapper. Don't worry yourself. Don't stress. Just write and build your foundation because that's what matters. Not do I have something to write about. Build that foundation. And I keep telling you guys that practice makes perfect. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm Rob Level, the smart rapper. Community's coming soon. Please hit me with that subscribe and hit that little bell when you do so it can notify you every time I release a new video, which is every day. Okay, every day on this channel. We're growing like crazy. I appreciate y'all. Please hit me with a comment. Did this inspire you? How do you feel? Let everybody know below. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Smart rapper, gang.